masuala ya wananchi na mipango maalum Profesa Margaret Kobia atuongoze katika ratiba ifuatayo karibu sana waziri Thank you thank you very much Your Excellency Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta President and Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya Your Excellency Madam Margaret Kenyatta the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya Her Excellency the First Lady of the Republic of Rwanda Jeanette Kagame distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, I'm pleased to welcome you to this year's celebration of International Women's Day 2022. This is the day we celebrate all the gains that we have made to one gender equality and together we reflect on the journey ahead. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for providing the political leadership that champions for equal opportunities for women, girls, boys and men to realize their full potential. Sir, today we recognize the support that you have given to the First Lady Her Excellency Margaret Kenyatta through our office and particularly our Marathon and BOD Zero program. She has given a new meaning to the office of the First Lady by touching lives through mobile clinics everywhere in this country. Last week when we were celebrating, uh, celebrating my endure at 70, the mobile clinic for the first lady was right there in Bukungu Stadium, providing cancer screening and other health services. <laughs> Your Excellency, in fulfillment of the promise that we made regarding supporting senior trailblazers, I'm happy to report that about 11 senior trailblazers have been visited delivered your goodwill message and that of the first lady, given them their recognition award, and uh, allow me, Your Excellency, just to mention them so that we can applaud them. The first one was, and uh, not in any order, Honorable Grace Onyango, Honorable Mama Phoebe Asio, Her Excellency Margaret Kina Kenyatta, Mrs. Joan Mujomba, Honorable Senator Kitoni, Mrs. Mudoni Rikimani, Honorable Nyeba Mwendwa, Professor Lea Malangu, Professor Miriam Were, Mrs. Honelin Kepragat, and Enda Kashukia. Your Excellency, nobody can ask who is that in this room. <laughs> they are our senior trailblazers who sh showed us we stand on. Your Excellency, during the International Women's Day celebration in 2018, you directed that the ministry that is responsible for gender and the culture should support the trailblazers to document their memoirs. I'm pleased, Your Excellency, to report that three publications have been, which are displayed here, have been launched this morning. <laughs> Your Excellency, these are publications by Chia Grit by Honorable Sipora Kitoni. The second one, Witness to Transitions by Professor Julia Ojiambo. And the third one was staying on course by Dr. Lindia Zomo. If you are here, please can we stand? <laughs> Where are the trailblazers? Please stand and uh, we give them a big hug. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Further, this morning, we have launched the first ever gender policy for private sector in Kenya. I would like to recognize the leadership of the Kenya Private Sector Alliance led by CEO Caroline Karioki Karuga and our team. Are you here? Today we are celebrating. Thank you. This policy will go a long way in advancing gender equality and women's empowerment in the private sector. Your Excellency, in fact, the private sector lags behind the government and that effort from private sector is applauded. Lastly, we launched a publication on conversation with the party fighters. Kenya women in politics, in the leadership, social mobilization, and their contribution to Constitution 2010. This is a publication by the University of Nairobi Women's Economic Empowerment Hub based in African Women's Studies Center. I would like to recognize the Vice Chancellor who is with us, Stephen Kiama, Dr. Wanjiko Kabera, and if you are here, can you stand and we proud you? <laughs> Your Excellency, we are doing that because today we are demonstrating results. 
Your Excellency, as we celebrate. Your Excellency, today we are also delighted, delighted with the launch of Margaret Kenyatta Institute for Center for Gender and the Social Development that will support capacity development in the nation and the beyond. Oh, yay. <laughs> Your Excellency, allow me to recognize UNFPA Country Director, Representative, sorry, Dr. Andemora Orajide, whose tenor, <laughs> whose tenor has come to an end and we want, he has been very supportive on gender-based violence and particularly program on FGM. <laughs> Your Excellency, allow me to just wish him well in his future endeavors. Finally, sir, allow me to appreciate the staff of the Office of the First Lady, development partners, most of them sit at that corner, and the overall ministerial organizing committee, including the Ministry of Culture, which is represented here by the CS Amina. Where is CS Amina? Yeah, yeah they helped. <laughs> <laughs> Your Excellency, they supported the publication of the memoirs as you directed. <laughs> so I thank them for a job well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Your Excellency, today we have been a little bit longer, but bear with us, we are just celebrating as women. And I think you... I now am at that point where it is my humble duty to welcome Her Excellency the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta to make her address, and I think if she has several items to do, if she pleases, she can go on with the program. Your Excellency, <laughs> <laughs> I welcome you, and thank you very much for honoring us.